Coming off a record-breaking awards haul at this year's Golden Globes and leading with a whopping 14 nominations at the Academy Awards, La La Land has continued to create buzz right here in Beijing. Director Damien Chazelle and lead actor Ryan Gosling held a press conference in the Chinese capital on Tuesday, giving the lowdown on the song and dance extravaganza. Here's to the ones who dream. 32-year-old Chazelle, who directed Whiplash in 2014, could potentially become the youngest director ever to win the Best Director Prize at the Academy Awards next month. Although at La La Land's Beijing press event, the director said the project itself is already a dream come true. This was really the dream project for me. Um, I actually, you know, started trying to get this made before I even made Whiplash. In some ways, I made Whiplash as a as a way of proving to people that I could make this. So this actually feels really like a complete dream come true to have, to have been able to make this and, and in some ways the most personal thing, I, I guess for me, that I felt like I've ever, or that I feel like I've ever made. City of stars. The film also fulfilled Gosselin's lifelong musical dream of learning to play the piano. Damien, uh had a, this wonderful idea to shoot a lot of these uh, musical sequences in one shot. So that meant there was no opportunity to sneak in professionals. Uh, had to, we had to do it, um, which was, uh, you know, it was a challenge, but it was an exciting challenge. I got a call back. What? Come on. <laughs> For what? For a TV show. La La Land tells the story of Sebastian and Mia, a musician and an actress who are played by Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, as they fall in love in a fantastical Los Angeles full of show-stopping songs. The musical comedy has been widely compared to Michel Azanavicius' 2012 Best Picture Oscar winner, The Artist. Both films are nostalgia-drenched romantic comedies that honor classical Hollywood traditions, and both follow a pair of L.A.-based streamers as they navigate the rocky path of love and fame. And Chazelle, a longtime fan of traditional Hollywood musicals, admits this is his love letter to that golden age. You know, I think the core message for us is we wanted to make a movie about love and about dreams. You know, and especially, I think, now, there's a lot of anger in the world, a lot of cynicism in the world, and so it was important to us to, to make a movie about positive things, about people chasing their dreams, whether or not the dreams come true, chasing them, um, finding love, finding hope. Those were kind of things that I think were important to us to put out there. As the film's release date in China is very aptly set for Valentine's Day, Chazelle and Goslin also showed up their calligraphy skills, writing the Chinese character Love, then tipping it upside down as it symbolizes love has arrived in Chinese. I've heard in, in America some, some, uh, uh, some guys have been worried about bringing their girlfriends to the movie because they're afraid their girlfriends will want to run off with Ryan. <laughs> so, um, but I, I, I guess I, I definitely would like to think that, you know, anywhere in the world and, and, you know, here in China when it opens, that it is a movie for, for people in love or people who want to be in love. You know, I think it's a movie for everyone. And I like the idea of it coming out on Valentine's Day. And like Brian was saying, this idea of, you know, maybe a somewhat unconventional love story where, where, where people come together to help pursue their dreams. After advanced screenings in various cities across China, the film has already received positive reviews. Critics believe it could become a major cultural phenomenon like James Cameron's Titanic almost 20 years ago. Chen Li, CGTN.